truth will come through despite the machinery of lies. My friend and comrade Michael Brooks died last January 11th from or with coronavirus. He went to hospital on the 26th of December last year. Every time, the only time he left his house between March 2020 and December 2020 was to go to the shop to buy a newspaper. He would wear a mask. I told him not to, but he, he didn't want to go into it. He lost the energy. He put on a mask. He would go to the shop and buy a newspaper. He'd come home from the shop. He'd read the newspaper. He was a man who lived from fighting, from campaigning. But suddenly, at 72, he had a stroke that same year. And in fact, it's almost certain it was the stroke that killed him. And the coronavirus pushed him over the edge alongside the fear and the loss of life, the loss of joy, the loss of pleasure. That's what killed the people. In the care homes. You see the story in the news like this week? Next week or the week after, we must stop all visits to hospitals. When my friend was in hospital, just before he died, his partner, who had also caught coronavirus, but she recovered quickly. She was told, you can come and see him one last time, two days before he died. And you know what they did? They made her wear a hazmat suit to say goodbye. Two days before he died. Disgusting. Yeah. These people are bureaucratic. So if you like that video, do check out my other videos on BitChute and Rumble. I have got a very modest uh, selection of videos on YouTube, but they are prone to censorship.